Okay, this video is going to talk about how there can be malicious bots that can cause a high bounce rate, which are designed to basically cause spam visitors, fake visitors, uh, going to your website and then jumping off the website and um, basically sending negative signals to Google saying that your website's not good enough. So what you need to do is you need to check your Google Analytics to see about your bounce rate. If your bounce rate's really high, um, that means a bad thing. If it's really particularly had spikes of increasing bounce rates, you need to know why it spiked with an increase of bounce rate so that you can fix it. So this is an example where there's a bounce rate here uh, that just went super high out of nowhere. All of a sudden it was like 0%, 5%, 2% or whatever. And then it jumps up to 75%, or 88.55%. Um, that's bad. Um, that means eight or nine out of 10 users go to the website and then hop off really quickly. And what that shows Google is that your website is not a good website. It was not a good search result, and it's something that somebody went to but then immediately left, and that's a bad signal to Google. So if you have a very high bounce rate, here's how to fix it. What you need to do is you need to find where the location is um, that this is coming from. So you look at all traffic, and you so you go to acquisition and you search down um, let's see if we can if we can easily find find this so go down to channels and then you and then what we noticed is the channel here that was really high out of nowhere that's getting this huge high bounce rate you could see here 84 percent was direct so they're going directly to the website. They're not even, it's not from Google search or anything. It's going directly there and leaving quickly. And so that's a very intentional bot of malicious intent. And so they're going to the website. So they're literally typing in www.whatever the website is. And strangely enough, look at this. It's not even just the main website where it's .com, but it's .com forward slash contact, .com forward slash contact, forward slash free assessment, .com forward slash assisted homes, .com. So they're literally typing that directly in, which no human really does. So this is clearly a, a bot that is entering these in directly and causing, look at this bounce rate from here, this one's a hundred percent bounce rate. This one's eighty or fifty-eight uh, percent. This one is eighty-seven percent. All a ton of these um, bounce rates are just really terrible. Average session duration, um, a, mo a lot of those are zero, and this other one is forty-two seconds. But um, what we what we want to do is we want to find out well where the heck are they coming from, right? And what we need to do once we find out where the heck we're coming from, we need to create a filter to exclude them. So this is, um, this is where we need to dig down and be like, okay, where, where, are, where are they coming from? Okay, so you click on, um, let's see, if, you were, if we were to find... So to find out the location of where these are coming from, what you need to do is you need to click on audience. So you click on audience and you go down to geo and we are interested in knowing the location. As you could see the location here, look at this, so United States, okay, that's a whole lot of them. You look at the bounce rate here and you're like, okay, 54% of the bounce rate are coming from the United States. You see that 50% of the bounce rate are coming from China. So um, first, let's fix the United States one. I'll just show you how to, how to fix one to exclude in a filter one of these locations. Then you can find out where yours are coming from and exclude that specific city. So look at this. Oh, looky here. This is interesting. You look at the bounce rate here. 99% of these bounce rates are coming from Virginia. Now, this client is in Nevada. This client is, does, does not 
have anything to do with Virginia. So let's take a look at Virginia here. Oh, look at this. All of them are coming from Ashburn. So if all of this bounce rate are coming from Ashburn, we need to create a rule to ex excuse me, to exclude this city from um, from causing any more harm because in Ashburn is actually a data center where Amazon holds, um, uh, there's a lot of hosting and different things and that's where people can install on hosting um, bots that are malicious. And so that is that is um, a common city to want to exclude. So you might as well just jump in and exclude Ashburn anyways. So here we go. Um, so to exclude Ashburn, So to exclude a particular city, let's say we want to exclude Ashburn, what we need to do is we need to go down to this cog down here, this little settings cog. You click that little cog, and all you have to do is click all filters. Now I've already excluded it, but I'll show you how I did it. So you do add filter, and you're going to name it. So this one you could name, um, let's do block Ashburn spam bots okay and you click on custom and then you're gonna click on uh, location here you're going to actually go all the way down almost and you're going to click city and then all you have to do is type in Ashburn right here once you've clicked Ashburn you want to so that says see how that says exclude so we're going to exclude this is going to filter out from our um, our data here and we're going to apply that to all website data so we'll do that and we'll, we also want to apply it to the Google Ads profile because sometimes people can have bots that not that, that they don't just click on your uh, website but there are also bots malicious bots who will click on your ads and they will they will skyrocket the cost of your Google Ads account. Basically it's it's these bots are fake humans, fake profiles that go click on your ad and let's say it cost just now costed you $8 for that one click or $15 for that one click. Well, that was a bot that just did it. What if a bot did that? 10 times a day. Well, now you just spent $150 um, because of a bot. So you want to, you definitely want to um, not allow them to click on your Google ads as well. So once you do that, you click save and you now have a filter. So um, I've, I've actually just done that twice. So block traffic, I'm just going to, I'm going to delete that one so that's how you do it so that's how you add a filter and then you go back and you say okay what's the other one the other one was in China and then you add another filter for that one as well so that is how you create a filter so that now moving forward your bounce rate is not going to be um, uh, falsely inflated by malicious um, spam and and this this will really help your Google rankings if you can disallow if you can filter out any of the cities where your malicious spam is coming from okay if your business is already at 2.5 million or more we invite you to check out our 10x accelerated program at 10xflowseo.com where we can work together to help you reach 50 million or over 100 million per year if you're not yet at the 2.5 million per year, then feel free to like and subscribe to help keep applying all this video knowledge, our entire playbooks designed to help you get to 2.5 million per year for free.